guys, welcome to the movie boss. I am the host with the most Kadash is my name. So today we'll be talking about this new movie that's actually trending online, The Gang of Lagos, produced by Jade Sola OC Beru. Now I got good guys in the studio with me. They actually came to play with me. And then today we'll be talking about um the movie Gang of Lagos. We'll be critiquing the movie and also reviewing the movie, talking about the cast, the character, the setting, and also the cinematography of this film, Gang of Lagos. I'll go on this break and I'll introduce my guests. Kadara, destiny. Who decides where we are born, the life we have. When I was a baby, there was a premonition that I would not only become a street king, <laughs> but I would die young like my father. Why for life? Why for life? Why is the jungle. Everyone does what they must to survive. The rules of the streets were simple. Be a lion, boy. No one lives just. It was the best of times in Zaleko, but nothing good lasts long. They say kings are never buried alone. I'm the man already. You're ready. Don't be nervous. I see your hands as well. Welcome back to the movie Buzz. My name is Kadaj. I was with you. If you're just tuning in, definitely you've not missed anything. So today, like I said, I will be reviewing the film Gang of Lagos. So I'll be introducing my friends, my guys who actually came to the studio to come and talk about this film Gang of Lagos. So to my left hand side, I have Johnny Black, who is a movie producer and also a stage fan. How are you doing, Johnny? I'm doing well, it's Johnny Black Boy. Johnny Black Boy, actually, it's okay. Johnny, Johnny Black Boy. Good to have you in the studio with me. And also to my right hand side, I have Praise Ganeo PG. She's a fashion maker and also a actor. Hi, Kadash, how are you doing? How are you doing? So glad to be here. Yeah, this is your shade. It will be all that way down, but no, I have to be here. Oh, you yeah, have to be here. Yeah. Are you talking about for that? Yeah. Okay, so um, today uh, we'll be talking about Gang of Lego, like I actually yeah. said. I'm sure you've watched the movie, I'm sure you've seen the movie yes. as well. So um, let's talk about the director, let's talk about the producer of this film, um, Jade Sola Usida. What can you say about her? Well, like, um, you know, she produced the movie. Yeah, brother. Brother. I think this is going to go far. It's going to go far, yes. It's going to go far, yes. It's going to go far, because Gang of Lego, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Storyline, um, um, some of the casting were not really like, you know, okay for me. Okay, for you. And the new characters, the new characters, the new characters. Okay, so what can you say about Jadi? Quick I one. Mean, she produced another block. Buster, Don't bust her, yeah. I'm not surprised from just like Johnny said from um, Brotherhood, Sugar Rush, and this one again. It's mind blowing, and I wouldn't say she's going far. She's yeah. there's still more of them. Sure, sure she's sure the top on my list of <laughs> of all you know Nigerian producers. Okay, mm -hmm. so, All right, good one. So now I'm um, moving straight to the next one. Let's talk about the characters in the film gang home. Mm. So, um, which do we pick first? <laughs> okay, um, who is your favorite act? My favorite act for me would be um, Kazim. Kazim. Oh, of course. Oh, Kazim, he played that role like, very well. Okay. Okay. It would be very difficult for you to see that it was one that passed me all of the deaths that yeah, happened yeah, that in the whole film. Yeah. 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 So, like, yeah, that's for me. Then I will now go with um, Opa Lona. Opa Lona. He said Toby Bakari. You know, most people didn't expect Toby Bakari to, to actually you know, be this um, big figure in the movie industry. Mm -hmm. like, like, within this short period of time, uh, yeah. several people have been doing it for years. Yeah. And then they are still not at this stage. But for me, I think Toby is going to get an award. That's just like, and it's uh, funny you know, for Yeah, like you said, I'm getting an award. You, know, you can't use a particular film to judge. Yeah, yeah, They're looking at his yeah. act on Brother yeah, Owen. Well. So, so it can either be Brother Owen or Gangs of Brother Owen. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, so uh, praise, who's your favorite actor? Who was your favorite actor? Definitely your body. Oh, but Lola, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, I was, let me give back. I mean, my brother is a Badalua, so I like how you do. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> but I think 
wasn't I and John were discussing about this yesterday that this it came from um what's it called? Big Brother Ninja. It did not look like someone that we know was it was going to come into we had some of them to the back and we know they had some of them come into the movie industry and before you know it. Yeah. But he the movies he has done, he keeps getting better, shows he's working on himself, yeah. this is passion for him, and it's really just like you said, even if not for Gang of Lagos, Gang Brotherhood or any movie he's going to be in, he's going to definitely get an award. He's doing really well. And for me, he killed the role again. Okay, now this is another uh, I'll call her a silent character in the movie because she didn't have like a lot to do, but then we saw what she did. Who um does um uh, this lady, what's her name? Um, this girl was in Bimbo Ademo. Yeah, that's the okay. that's the daughter of Kazi. Okay, you're yeah. talking about um, um, a silent character or like they call them um, a forgotten what they use for you know these people that just play short films in the movie. Like I think it's going to be too much to go from mom to to Ify to Ify. Yeah, she did that. Like, you know that part where she was like, it's silent. No go, no go sleep. <laughs> like, yeah, the yeah. part where she was, you know, she showed you love that you know that you have one, so that is a little bit like, that has been there and stuff like that. So, like, I could see, and then when she lost the child as well, you know, yeah, the emotion she brought in. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it was, it's, they call it the candle, you know, the candle. The candle, yeah, the candle character. So, like, I think for me, she played the candle, like, you know, as a figure. You know, and speaking of the language, actually come back to that language, you know, because you know how Lagos is they say it's just for Yoruba people, but yeah, then I mean, you saw how she came to Igbo, yeah, yeah. 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 and you saw the love there. So we have a lot of things in Lagos. In Lagos, yeah. So, yeah. so we actually I think that's what Jaddy also did in that movie. It's telling the time where we have people talking about tribalism now. That's what I mentioned. Yeah. So how that we are one, that's I mean, it's telling the time where we have this diversity is what makes us very unique and beautiful. And I think that's why Jaddy. <laughs> it's a city, it's 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 like like heart. Heart. Okay. So now another one that we actually need to talk about is the Isale Oko. That's the certain. same. Yeah, okay. certain. You know how I mean for them to be able to shoot in Isale Oko without find definitely disturbance with them, but for them to be able to actually, you know, stay days shooting and we had like a very smooth um location and it actually went well. So what would you say to that? Uh, for me, you know, when it comes to the shooting parts, you should understand that those that see it from the picture aspect mm -hmm. will not really know understand, that, yeah. you know, go on behind the scenes. So I want to ask you that you went through different uh, stumbling blocks, but I know that the was able to make progress and make other things. But then again, Isalem who represented like significant part of the Lagos state. Yeah. You understand? Because Isalem is just one out of many, you know, um, is it, um, what we call them, like, get to the areas yeah, yeah, yeah. in the um, Lagos state. Yeah, sure. So what it's just like the right to actually tell the story from that Isalem Po because mm -hmm. the storyline is what I do, you know, tell them to. Because to tell an average, like, Ublon, or yeah, let's yeah. say a gang, the gangster, yeah, yeah, sure. okay, whatever it is that you are doing, is adding towards like a bigger picture for somebody that is in his house, taking care of his children, his children are probably a brother like that, he can join his life, and then you are there committing crime just for this person, you understand? So you are telling them they don't really get it because they are just out there thinking there is nothing to make something for my family because of this, because of that. But at the end of the day, the gangs of the universe is letting us see the bigger picture in just a way. So you understand, this is what we need now. We need to be able to see through the media because the media yeah. holds like a very strong, it has a strong power over the people. So I think the storyline is a local story. That's what uh, Elenio, that's um, what's his name, to, um, Tayo Fanero, that's Elenio, yeah, yeah. was actually portraying in the exactly. movie because actually when he took, when he abducted um, Obalola, yeah. wanted to take him to school okay. himself. Okay. If he, okay. uh, you mean when he adopted When he adopted him. Adopted him. <laughs> when he adopted the boy, you know, he was, he actually adopted the three of them. Yes. That's if he, yes. um, Gift and Obalola, they were going to school before he was. Suddenly. So it's not just about the um, like you know the crime and everything. Yeah. They still showed us. They still showed us that at the end. Um, the kind of law that you get, you know, the family yeah. stuff that is also represented in the movie. Mm -hmm. You understand? So at the end of the day, they're just letting us know that people go through it. Yeah. And this is our life. This is what some people would not even see. Because some people stay in Banana Islands, <laughs> in Madagascar, <laughs> <in laughs> <Madagascar, laughs> what is going on? 
um, beside them go East Lagos. That is actual Lagos. These are the people yeah. that you know every day they go through these things. Yeah. 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 The second for me, I think mean, the second for me is the any movie that brings in our she can totally relate with it. Relate with I mean, that anybody could have come from it's an equal that when you see that movie, you just, it's as if you went through this. You can mm-hmm. literally sure. say that this is exactly what what I went through when I was there. And just like the second song that has not even, that, I, that has some experience of that, you can literally picture. Not only is an equal. Yeah, you know, you can actually, that's what I'm saying. Like, Nollywood general, that's what I'm doing. Like, mm-hmm. actually, picture, you know, it's, I, I'm going to give it to them, but it's, you can see the originality of it and you can say that this is really Yeah, yeah that it's really cool. But then, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm really past the night in Sally Cook. I mean, I just go there to you know, get goods, get buy something. So, I've not really, you know, have that time to spend more time with them. But I'm sure you I'll show you what to spend. I, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Do you really like to have you, have you spent time there? I haven't. But I don't I think mean, I mind. The, the, the I movie has done. Story. Because, like, so the movie actually portrayed yes, there so many good people there. Too. Justice. And the kind of art structure. You see where um, the young Obalola collected the money? Money, yeah. He found a way to reach out to people that he controlled. Of that scene, yeah. yeah. And they were still able to retrieve the money, even though they told that their own movie. So, mm-hmm. that's the second yeah. thing that is guiding that money. Mm-hmm. So, it's still involved in the but in a way you have you know, you know, balancing yeah. together, you have the they want to be able to relate to each other and finding ways to um, um, actually like justice. Justice, yeah. 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 When you commit a crime, yeah. personal yeah. gains are always involved, but you can still retrieve your stuff. They said uh on my year, you need to drive. And that's why they say when you're passing through places like that, try as much as to be very friendly with them. Mm-hmm. Like, because you, you feel I mean, that they don't have a say there, but you might be in trouble one day, like, you'll be shocked that those people can actually say yes, like, if I don't have a bar of very small, I've had that. Did you see all those talks around the dance that they'll greet you, like, greet them, my guy. Like, ah, <laughs> they talk, you know, you know <laughs> try to get them with them, like, ah, when someone else, I can't say, like, no, not on that. No, they actually do that because so, I actually yeah. saved you. Just like I said, the love, uh, 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 aside the crime, the love there, you can actually relate to those people. You'll be glad to do it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, let's talk about the cinematography. That's the camera quality of the film. And then, uh, honestly, for me, that thing, I can give you like, I mean, for the camera quality, I can give it a 10, a 9 over 10, because it's nothing like 10 over 10. <laughs> I Let give it a 9 over 10. Talk. Yeah, film you can, um, John Black. Yes, as in like, you know, um, from the equipments they use, you know that obviously they are like high tech. Yeah. Because you know, the picture is different from what we used to see. We see, see yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, I'll give it like eight or like ten. Yeah. Eight over ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. How about you, Chris? It's just a fashion designer. But <laughs> I, I just what I know is I saw the movie, enjoyed the quality of the movie. Um, nine to me, it's okay. It's very nice. It's fine. Yeah, pretty good. Well. Okay. So, um, uh, please, I'm sorry now. I actually want to quote it because we have no time and then we yeah, have to okay. touch all the, every other thing. Uh, let's talk about um, the significance of Ayo. But we'll come back after the short break. Let's go on this break. We'll be back soon. I'm glad to know that you are still right here with us. It's still the movie, but also with the most crash is still my name. And also, I still have the filmmaker John Blackboy and Prince Gani, an actor and also a fashionista. <laughs> just keep changing my name. I'm everything. You're everything. Honestly, yes, you are everything. So, so quick one. Now let's talk about the political inclusion in that movie. I mean, looking at how what they did during the political. Um, uh, what's it called during the political a- um, area mm-hmm. when Elenia wanted to come in as the next um, governor and also looking at Tony Abraham you know saying some things on TV when um, Tony finally turned off the TV let's talk about the political inclusion well I wouldn't want to talk so much about this particular one but I think that they, they really did portray what we actually experiencing right yeah. now and it's so beautiful that they even actually um, shot the movie even before we had before the election, yeah. it's 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 just so. It's, I'll give it to all the crew members. Yeah. It's just so. It, I'm, we are still going to talk about um, some other aspects in yeah. which I saw that even before this happened, 
like they saw it something. and it's, glow. It's a trend. It's and then, sure yeah, and they portrayed it. It's so perfect and I love the fact that it's just exactly the same thing that we're experiencing now. That we experienced. That we experienced and yeah. that we've even been experiencing see, years yeah. back. So the movie is just for me, generally it's just a beautiful. They really did that political inclusion very yes, well. Yeah. And you could see that this is what is really happening in Nigeria. Also, I want to say something. Why is it that during election or before election, these politicians are always using talks to you know do one or two things? And let me direct that question to John. And okay, like right, like she said. Well, like I'm 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 too I'm too posh to you. Okay. So come on, like <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll shock you, but then let's leave that one. <laughs> so, like for the political um, part of it, and then using the talk and stuff, you see that this has actually been a trend. Sometimes, you know, these talks they feel like they are loyal to this particular person because of what they are benefiting from that person, and they also see it as a way of elevating themselves. Most of them, they just see their life as okay. Let me do this, and then when I do it well, when I support this person. Is going to now take me and then puts me in a better position. Mm -hmm. So most of them are like loyalists to these people that are using them to perpetrate you know, crime right. just for their own personal gain. And most of these people as well did it for another lady, you know, you get so yeah. it's more like um, um, a tradition that okay, when this person is done, when he's leaving the position, he's going to put someone there to be loyal to someone they can trust. But it's more like this Baba Sane, it's more like a Kampa, you get to understand what father is in. So they know how they you know, sit down to make all of these plans and then, you know, so you understand. So every talk wants a chance to actually, you know, become a lady. So that's what drives their dream. Yeah. And then they are limited to the education. So I feel like this thing is more like, a, uh, they call it like the stop syndrome. Yeah. Where you believe that, okay. Like, so I saw I saw a post where someone was saying that it's only in this country that you see that somebody will be one age and you still want to remain there. And you're still be fighting to remain there. You get so it's not like you, you understand. Yeah. It's not like they are fighting to remain there, but they are restricted in the law of things that they believe that they won't do without. Like, the uh, Baba said, he said the only way out is to either six feet on the ground yeah. or to become a mm -hmm. You understand? So it's more like what you do get. Because the way we are now, we went to like we went to school already now. So we have a different type of orientation from these guys that brought them to like, go to primary school. Some of them went to secondary school and afterwards like they don't have any other ideas, they are on the street. So they learn more on the street and this is the street. So Learning more on this, so let's talk about the language um, in the film that's the cultural inclusion and also the language. Let's talk about the language because you know, the Igbo and Yoruba yeah. switching, yeah. how they were able to accommodate um, the Igbo part in that film. I mean, if you're looking at someone like if you're growing up in Isaleko and you still have that Igbo lifestyle in here, which can be, let's talk about that. Okay, so like, um, I think that you should have really done better in this. Because we saw the um, the Ifi of when he was still very young, you know, speaking better Yoruba than the Ifi that was in the world, yeah. And then we saw um, Gifts Gift also yeah. speaking better Yoruba yeah. than the one that. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like, you know, if they are going to portray the Salempo, which is like the fast speaking area, they're supposed to like, like have more time to practice. But like they say, there's no pretty work that is perfect. And that's why I have you guys. <laughs> 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 okay, next one, let's talk about the cultural inclusion. I mean, how they were able to use the AO in the film, and then we know that some people actually hide on that cultural norm to you know, disguise and also you know perpetrate evil. Let's yeah. talk about that. Okay, so I don't think this is real, even though a lot of people are taking it out of context. Yeah. Because when you start the movie and you see the story that like, talking about the AO being the first gun. Because when we check the meaning of gang, it doesn't really relate to crime. Gang is just a group of people with a collective idea, collective mission, vision, and all of that. So then, being the first gang doesn't mean that they are evil. But people are hiding under the disguise of you know, yeah. to commit crime, which is something I don't know if you've seen it in even Western movies where they use Santa Claus as maybe bank robbers or something. Yeah. Just hiding under it because you know this particular 
costume or this identity is it something it gives you know, it yeah. makes it is it's something that people are going to just when they look at it they say oh wow you get it entices people yeah. so they can use that one to penetrate which is the major like point of when evil wants to happen they like to these guys mm -hmm. come in the way where they are, they are not dangerous they are actually dangerous but then i feel like maybe they are trying to deviate people from the storyline which is the major thing because when we check this thing, like, it's actually touching on pressing issues yeah. in this country. And if people can see the kind of universe and understand their role in this society, it's going to make us be aware of something that some of us are not even aware of. So, uh, guys, this is where we wrap it up. Thank you for you know staying by and watching um, this uh, wonderful movie review. I'm sure you guys have been able to you know learn. And also, um, not we are not trying to you know do anything or trying to bring on the movie but we're just trying to you know review the movie and also tell you guys to go and watch the movie and also learn from the movie okay and on this note i say goodbye for now thank you johnny blackboard for coming through by the way and also praise guy so i hope the next time when i bring you guys you guys will come yeah, you know, somebody's yeah. all right so my name is toya kadash i'll see you guys bye for now <laughs>